in F1, especially nowadays, it has come all back to the smallest detail and the smallest uh, fine tuning knob of, of every single front, rear wing, suspension, engine, mapping, everything, you know, and uh, if you compare this to a watch, a watch like Casio Edifis works, is very similar. I mean, I cannot find something as more methodic and as more precision uh, as Formula One and, and time, no? Efficiency is everything in our business because otherwise you won't have any success. It starts with the design office where you have to work precise and I have to work efficient. Research and development is decisive for success. Technically, the, the precision that we need with, with our components on a Formula 1 car is extremely high. You have tolerances perhaps within a thousandth of a millimetre on some of the components. It's incredibly tight and you need to be able to use the, the technology and machinery available to you to give you that level of accuracy. But you also need to do it quickly because you want to get those parts out as soon as you can and, and develop it. So there's a lot of synergies with the Casio edifice in that respect because you've got accuracy and timing, which is absolutely critical. That's what we're up against every day here. And when you go to a track, if you've got parts on your car which has to perform in a certain way, it's not only down to the accuracy of how well you've made that part, it's down to how well you're measuring it as well. When you're traveling as much as we do, the, the world dual dial time function is extremely important. You've got the link to the smartphone, which means that you're kind of all set up as soon as you jump off the plane. That's really critical because you need to know whether you can contact certain people back at the factory or not, when they're going to be available, whether they're having a meeting, which might then impact something that you do at the circuit halfway around the world. So that level of functionality on the Cassio edifice is extremely important for us.